I got the first one of these blow down trees cut up into rounds. It was painful to have to cut this potentially nice saw log up into firewood, but that's what we have going on here. This is one of the smaller trees, but they're still pretty big. About 23 inches inside the bark. We need to roll all of these rounds down the hill to the road. But before we do that, I thought it'd be interesting to scale this tree, see how many board feet are in it, see what it would be worth at the mill. Then when we find out how much firewood we can get out of it, we can compare the two. We'll measure where our first 32 foot log would be. Comes out to about here, about 18 inches that way, 18 inches. Now to measure the next 32 foot log. Just happens to come out to the last one that didn't roll down the hill. Fifteen that way, sixteen that way. A good scaler would probably call it sixteen. Next log. About here. Of course this end's all jumbled up and we don't know which round would have been at this spot. But from where I just started measuring to here is about halfway to where the top of the tree was. We'll go with about an average sized round. And what I remember it being at about this point. This one's probably close enough, so we'll go with that one. About 11 inches. It was starting to taper. Whoa. Just pulled one down the hill with my tape. Now, if we look at our Scribner tables, a 32 foot log, 18 inches diameter on the top end is 430 board feet. The next log, a 32 foot log with a 16 inch top is 320 board feet. Then the 32 foot log with an 11 inch top is 140 board feet. We could probably get another 24 foot log out of the top. That one tapers so fast, it'd probably only be about 30 board feet comes out to a total of 920 board feet out of that tree. Last time I checked log prices at the mill, they were paying about $830 per thousand board feet for this kind of material. Well, that would come out to $763.6 at the mill. Of course, you have trucking costs and other costs associated with getting the logs to the mill. Around here, dug fir two by six by eights sell for just a little over $7 a piece. That's less than a dollar a board foot. When I was milling lumber, I was getting about a dollar a board foot up to about a dollar sixty a board foot, the higher end being for bigger timbers. And I was having difficulty selling it at that. The Scribner scale is different than the scale I would get if I was to mill them into lumber. I can actually get more board feet out of it by milling it into lumber because I can take advantage of the taper. Scaled at the mill, they only measure the small end. They don't account for the bigger end at the other end. Obviously, the bigger end would be at the other end of the smaller end. That was a little redundant. So I might actually get 1,500 board feet out of it if I was to mill it. At a dollar board foot, that would be $1,500 out of this log if I was to mill it and sell the lumber. That's a lot of math for one video, at least all at once. Let's break that up by having some mindless fun and roll these big rounds down the hill. When we get them down here, split them up, we'll find out how many cords of wood were in this tree. Then we can find out what would be more profitable, shipping these logs to the mill, milling them up into lumber myself, or cutting them into firewood. I made this barrier here to try to stop them here to keep them from rolling over there where they're not supposed to go. We'll see if that holds.
Well, that's all of them. Only a few of them tried to get away, but they didn't get very far, except one of them almost made it to the gate. Got all the strays and runaways rounded up. These are all the rounds from the one tree. What do you think? How much wood do we have here? How many cords? If you have an estimate, let us know in the comments. When we split and load all these up, we'll know how much there is. Whoever gets closest to the actual amounts wins channel points. The points are totally made up and completely worthless, but at least they'll be yours. Here's another problem with milling. We're gonna have to have these defects in here that are going to reduce the yield that we would get from milling them into lumber. If we ship them to the commercial mills, the scaler might see this crack and pitch pocket. That might take away from that 920 board feet if they deduct for defect. dumped our green wood over here to dry. Now I'm loading up some dry wood to take to a customer. One reason why I'm cutting this wood into firewood instead of milling it into lumber. In a previous video, I told you all the challenges that would be involved in getting the mill here and milling it into lumber. But one of the main reasons is people are calling me ordering firewood. They're not calling me ordering lumber. Milling it into lumber might create a more valuable product. But if nobody's buying the lumber, is it really a more valuable product? People are actually paying me for firewood. I've had ads out for lumber for a long time at a price that makes it worth actually milling it and they just aren't buying. So that is the main reason why I'm cutting it into firewood. I could probably sell lumber if I drop the price, but I'd probably have to drop it to less than what the firewood's worth to get it to sell. Off to deliver a load. Didn't have time today to split the whole tree. We'll have to do that on an upcoming video. We'll find out how much wood was in that tree. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video.